Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. First, I apologize if my voice is a little weird. Uh, allergy season. So this is a Golden Mate battery. Um, if you've been a subscriber for the channel for a while, you've seen me do a Golden Mate before. I did one of their 20 amp hours. This is a 100 amp hour, and this has a lot more features, which I, I'll get into and I really like. First, let's talk about Golden Mate. Um, this is kind of like their specialty, doing lithium iron phosphate batteries. If you're kind of new to batteries, the strengths these have over the lead acid is that they're much lighter. You should get, you know, thousands of cycles. Golden Mate claims about 5,000, something like that. And that's nice because then you're reducing the environmental impact. You're getting better better energy storage per pound. And, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to pick these things up. This 100 one is not too bad to carry around. As, as you get bigger, they'd be, you know, more fixed. But, like, this is perfect. I love this. It's so light. It's got these really nice handles. These handles are better than any battery I've tested on the channel. Sometimes they're like ropes or nylon webbing or nothing at all. And this has a very satisfying, solid, like thick plastic handle. Even for my big bear paws, there's plenty of room to get in there. And it's just, I love it. I, I love the way this thing's designed. Yeah. So you do have a screen here. Um, it'll come on when you're charging, when you first start drawing, stuff like that. Right now the battery is in a discharge state. I just finished the capacity test, which we'll get to in a minute. So other things about Golden Mate, you know, uh, they take safety as a top priority. It, this battery has a battery management system which protects against stuff like short circuits, overcurrent, over voltage, overheating. So like, I'll show you when I got to the last few seconds of this battery, I recorded that in the app. There is an app, that's another good thing. And you see it actually has a, an indicator that says, hey, you know, the battery management system's kicking in. I forget what the exact verbiage is, but we'll take a look at that. And it realized that the battery was getting to a voltage low enough that it needed to cut itself off, and it cut itself off like it was supposed to. So, you know, stuff like this, versatility is key, right? You could use this in your RV. Uh, some people use these, I think, I'm not a boating person, but like for like trolling motors or something like that on boats, small boats. Um, you can use this for like a photovoltaic solar system that you set up. Um, you would need a, you know, a solar controller, charge controller to like charge safely with it. But that, that's pretty common when you're doing a solar setup. And you can do all kinds of other stuff. Like uh, for me, I like these because we lose power here a lot, like 12, 15 times a year. And with an inverter, again, which I'll show you here in a little bit, uh, I can run things off of these when the power's out in addition to my other, you know, AC battery backup systems. So here I've got it hooked up to an inverter so we can run some AC stuff off of it. I'm just kind of going through the inverter here. This is from another video, but I thought I'd go ahead and show this. It does see the 13.4 volts when it's fully charged on my inverter. So then here we have it hooked up to the inverter and then it's hooked up here to my DeWalt um, charger, my 60 volt charger. I'm gonna hook the 60 volt battery up to it. Uh, the cool thing here was um, this thing's drawn about 60 watts, the battery is, to charge, and then I was losing about, uh, I think like 50 watts of inefficiency to the inverter. The battery handled it like a champ. Um, previously, I also tried it with an electric kettle, which was drawing just a little over a kilowatt. Obviously, a kilowatt's a lot to draw down one of these batteries, and to get the water to get to the point where the kettle would shut off, it did get to like um, like 11% of the battery it was used. So obviously you don't want to use it for something like an electric kettle unless you got a bunch of these and, and everything. But it, it even handled that one kilowatt fine. I also am a ham radio operator, so I could take this out and I could run uh, several radios off of this all day long in the field, either in uh, a natural disaster activation or doing like parks in the air or something. So yeah, um, like a lot of batteries, you can connect this thing in series and parallel, you know, just do it accordingly and appropriately and everything. So you get a nice seamless integration into whatever your setup's gonna be. It does have the Bluetooth connectivity. So here you can see the screen when you first open it and you've got the devices. It does see all kinds of Bluetooth devices. So it sees like my MacBook and everything, but we're gonna go to the battery here at the top and now we're into the battery. Uh, I grabbed this when it was at 32% during the test. You can see the voltage. You can see the current, the current, current draw. Um, I could have thought of a better way to word that. You see the power draw down, <clears throat> and then an estimate of how much time is left. 
You can also come down here to the temperature. Don't mind my emails that are popping up there. So you can come down here to the temperature and we can see it in Celsius, we can see it in Fahrenheit. These are the different temperature systems inside. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. So the standout features to me are that LCD screen. So you can just quickly see, you know, what's going on. And that USB, I love that USB. Like I have not had a problem with it. Um, I've left it open, I've closed it and opened it in quick succession, and it just, boom, it always sees the, the battery, it always connects quickly, it, it's freaking amazing. I wish more Bluetooth things were that reliable. I have a Bluetooth uh, auxiliary adapter in my car to listen to songs in the car, and it, pff, I spend so much time trying to get that thing to work. So far, the app for this, it just works. So yeah, overall, um, I'm really happy with Golden Mate. Again, this is the second battery I had. From them, the 20 amp hour I use in a amateur radio battery box. Um, wanted to check out the 100 amp hour, and this thing is freaking amazing. You know, being lithium iron phosphate, it's going to outperform traditional lead acid batteries. You get a great value there. Uh, you get that weight savings. You know, pretty much everything. So, yeah. So I kind of apologize here, the glare, it's not the best because the overhead lighting, but you can see that it's showing that it's at zero, zero percent because yeah, I discharged it for the capacity test. So <laughs> yeah, um, you would plug this in, go ahead and get it charged in, and then that would show you some status. You just press right there to turn the screen on and off when it's not happening. When it first starts charging, it turns on by itself. Um, when it first starts discharging, it turns on by itself for a little bit. You just saw how long that was on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's talk about the capacity test now. So you can see here on screen with the capacity test, it measured at 108.897 amp hours. So almost 9% more than uh, is advertised. We had a watt hours of 1,377.57. And then the test time was 653 minutes and 24 seconds. So almost 11 hours to discharge. Not, not bad. I was pulling about 10 amps, um, 9.98, 9.97, sometimes 10 throughout the test. So yeah, pretty good. Almost got 110 amp hours out of it. Like that's consistent with the last one. I'll have a link to that last one in the description uh, and sticky comments as well. If you want to check that one out for the 20 amp hour, but th this one, this one's amazing. I love this thing, but that's, that's been it. That's the golden mate Orion 1000. A 100 amp hour battery with a nice battery management system, Bluetooth, and this cool LCD screen. But again, the coolest feature to me is those handles. So yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, again, there's links to this down there in the comments and stuff, and I, I appreciate the views. Tell me what you would do with this battery in the comments if you're still watching. I'd love to know. I'll see you guys in the next one.